over a whole week's wages you've flown on a dress. Who do you think you are? Lady Di? Haven't you got a brain, eh? Hey, don't walk away from me while I'm talking to you! You're not talking to me! You're shouting at me! Listen, unless you tell me. Don't be stupid. Don't talk to me like that. Well, you are. You're being stupid. Oh, don't talk ah. to me like that! That hurt. I mean, child lying oh. about you. Oh, 800. Go on, go on. One, go one, ahead one, and ring them. They'll probably tell me I've been in too early enough. Where are you going? Out. I meant what I said, Robbie. You're not going anywhere unless you tell me. Are you deaf from me? I told that... you about talking to me like that. Child lying. Oh, shut it. Child lying. Oh, let me have a discount. Oh, well, you tell her about Billy and I'll tell her about your drinking. <laughs> She wouldn't believe you. Oh, yeah, what wouldn't I believe? Oh, what's happened to you? You've not been in the bath trying to shrink your jeans again, have you? No. Where's Billy? In the bath. In the bath? He got soaked as well. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah, what's going on? It weren't my fault. Uh, whose is that? Not mine. Have you been drinking? It's Bianca's. Drink mine! Come here. I said it's hers. Ah! Breathe. Breathe! You've been drinking. I only had one. Where'd you get them from? I found them. Did you nick them? No, I bought them at the shop. She sold you booze? Well, I went in for a coke. He said I gave him. And he's. Yeah, what? What is he? Come on, answer me! You brush me like that again, you feel the back of my hand. Do you hear me? Well, well, I'm waiting. He's already got one failed marriage behind him, right? He's been on probation. I mean, you can hardly call him responsible, can you? Well, I've got a surprise for you, Mum. Because who's looking after Phil's business, eh? And he's doing great! You listening to me or what? No, I've heard enough. And who do you think's paying for me rent, eh? Yeah, Ricky, that's right. He's paying for everything! Cos I can't manage on my own. Why have I got you just selfish? Do you know that? What did you say? The way you carried on back there. You're just pathetic. I don't know how I... What do you want? Not particularly nice. Oh, what do you mean he hasn't come running back to you? You've got it wrong, everybody has. I've got your number. Don't think I haven't. I mean, you go off and live abroad and pick up all these airs and graces. Then you come back here and expect all the men to come running, didn't you? You don't know anything. Yeah, never stop to think it's other people's lives you're playing with. I can't help it. Fricky's still got feelings for me. Yeah, and he deserves all he gets. But my Bianca's the one who's got out here. I can't help that. Yeah, well, maybe it's a good thing she's had her eyes open before it's too late. But I'm warning you. You make trouble for her again, then you'll have me to answer to. I just wanted to apologise. Oh. I'll take him to get his trainers at a weekend. It's OK. Blossom's going to go. No. Right. So, uh, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? You said it was important. That's right. Yeah, well, let me know. We're going to have a chat. You can't just turn up here when you feel like it. Yeah, well, I thought you wanted me to come round more. You can't have it both ways. You're either here for us or you're not. Well, I'm here now. So what's the problem? Look, Carol, what is it? You can tell me. No, it's nothing. Look, please, Carol, just let me no, in. No, it's, it's too late. What, Nigel take orders from you now, is he? Or like everybody else is supposed to, is that it? Look, Mrs. Jones. Oh, you look! No, I've got a daughter sitting at home crying because of you. Think she's no good at anything. You did that! Hope you're happy. I'll be proud. You've made my daughter miserable. Is that a good feeling, Claire? I hope so, because at the end of the day, when those kids at school dump you for somebody a little bit more interesting, I hope you don't think you can come trotting back as nice as pie, thinking everything's hunky dory. Because believe you me, I won't be letting you in. Oh, no, no, no. Do you hear that, Nigel? I've just told her something you should have told her years ago. You know what? There's more to being a parent than sitting around in a restaurant handing out treats. A lot more. <laughs> I'm so ashamed of you, you ungrateful little cow. Now, Dan and I are going to go for a drink over the Vic. And when I get back, I prefer it if you weren't here. You just enjoy your day. Peter, I hate my own daughter. Don't she get a mean? Why does she have to say those things? Those things that she said, she just ruined everything. Not, calm down. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Deep stay. breaths. Come on, deep breaths. She knows exactly how to get me. And to dig the knife, she knows all my little weaknesses. No, 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 please. It's okay, really. Come on, it's okay. Oh! Now you stay away from me. Mum, please. Oh, she's great, isn't it? Anybody else want to win? Anyway, you must have lied your face off to get him down the aisle. Get off of me!
That's where you belong with the dead. Dead to me, that's what you are. Nothing, nothing to me at all. How can you say that? I'm your daughter. No, no, you gave that away when you lied, when you betrayed me. I don't want to be ashamed of my own oh, daughter. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Thanks, that makes me feel really Yeah, good. it don't feel so pretty from this side oh, either. Oh, come off it. You love it playing the martyr. Yeah? It's been your role of choice I, for the You last don't know anything years. about no, me. No, I don't. It must be hard, mustn't it, seeing me happy? Because you ain't never been happy. Like you don't know you how something. to do it. I'm not an idiot. I mean, you might be able to lie to Ricky, to your kids, but I can see right through you. Because I always have, Bianca. Look at it there. Look at it there. Oh, she egged him on, didn't you? Don't be boring, Billy. Don't, don't go to bed, Billy. Oh, don't be such an old woman, Billy. Bored, aren't you, Lauren? Right? Yeah? You wanna... She wants to have a little bit of fun, don't you, Lauren? All right, a little bit of fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop her! Get off me. Do you know what? I don't even know what I'm still doing here. Do you think I'm stupid? Or do you, do you think I wouldn't have noticed? Let's see, how shall we? We've got uh we've got Robbie, we've got Sonia, you've got whoever that is. Oh, oh. Bradley. The boy could do no wrong, of course. And uh surprise, surprise, no Billy. Well, we can't have a brown face poking out spoiling the view, can we? What? Well you you didn't care about him when he was alive, so I don't know why you give a damn now he's dead. Do you know there is a word for people like you? You're a racist! You... Don't you dare deny it! Because we all know how you felt about Alan. You, you couldn't even shake his hand. Do you know I am ashamed to call you my father? Whatever's going on? Yeah, why don't you ask the racist bigot here? Here, hold on a minute. He asked you to put Billy's photograph somewhere. What, in, in, in a cupboard, out of sight, out of mind? But we never had one. Why should we? No one give us one. I asked the lad more times Don't you got... dare. Don't you dare blame Billy on this. Morgan is up yeah, there. Uh, yeah, tucked in the back road, just over there. Don't take no notice of her, Jim. She's loopy. You know it's probably the grave. You know, it is your sanctimony I can't stomach. Love thy neighbour. You know, you're well matched, the pair of you, that's, that's for sure. Carol, I think it's high time you pushed off. Yeah. One less to worry about, eh, Dad? Hmm? Can you please pass the peas? Yeah? There you go, there's your peas, all right? I have had it with you, you cheap little slapper! You're not even part of this family! I'm a slapper at my grandma. Go on, tell everyone where you were today. You shut up. With Connor. You shut up! Oh. Yeah, what did he take you back you then, You shut did up! I don't know what he's doing. You shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You just stay away from my family. What are you worried about? What, you think man's going to start telling tales? Blow the whistle on Granny Jackson? Look, if you even had one ounce of compassion for me, you wouldn't do this. Please don't use them to punish me. No, I like her. She's a sweet girl. Oh, since when did you like sweet girls? Yeah, you're right. But I make an exception if they're fit. And boy, is she fit. Now, now, Mrs. Jackson, are we getting a little bit jealous? Connor. Connor! So it's for real then, you and Eddie? There's nothing real about it. No? Why do you call me? What answers? I thought you'd be in the hospital. <laughs> the hospital? That might be where you're heading, but not me. Has no one told you? Tyler's been hurt. He collapsed after the fight, but I thought you'd be there. And why would you think that? Because Eddie loves you. <laughs> he does. <sighs> what is it about women like you, eh? Carol, just listen to me. You can't have just it, can you, eh? Hey? Do you think that blokes like him liking women like me? Would you, would you, do you think you're more deserving, dear? He wants you. He told me. That's a really strange thing to share. How did that conversation come about, eh? What was you, were you in the, in the minute, Mark, buying your groceries, chatting over your veg? Could you please just oh, listen hi, to me? Eddie, all those sprouts look good. Yeah, they do, Vanessa. In fact, everything looks good now, because I'm in love with Karen Jackson. I don't think so! He told me. Because he was explaining. How we didn't want me. When, when did this start, huh? Nothing to start with. Huh? Was it before Max left? Because as I say, I know women like you. I know how your poisonous little minds work. You wanted to hurt him. 
Well, I'm, I may have done, but this has got nothing to yeah. do with that. Oh, oh, so, so it's me then, because you knew that I never liked you, is that it? You know, think what you want, but Eddie needs you. If you've seen the state of Tyler, he could die. Did you sleep with him? Telling me that nothing started! It didn't mean anything! You know what? Thank you, actually, because um, you, yeah, you've stopped me from making a complete idiot of myself. Well, well, almost. Go to him, Carol. Now you go to him and, and give him my best. All right? And tell him that I, I hope that Tyler's all right, but to be, to be honest with you, I really, I really, I really don't care. You don't mean that. I do mean it. I so, I so mean it. I hope he can hear me from here. To think, to think that I dared to let him in, to dare to believe in him! You know, I wish that when I first saw him, I didn't break off his I put my foot on that accelerator! Oh, get off! Liam's! Get out. Please, just go back on the Just get out! Carol, Eddie loves you. Get out, Liam. Get out. I'm going, I'm going. Just believe what you want. Waiting for someone. Yeah, we'll wait for somebody somewhere else. I beg your pardon. Look, I'm having a really bad day and I don't need this. So if you just want to sit around, why don't you go over the Vic or the library or a park bench somewhere? Any? Not here. I'd like to speak to Shirley. Again? <laughs> yeah, she ain't here. She needs to know what type of staff she's employing. Maybe send you on a refresher course in basic, simple manners. <laughs> Have you met her bloke, Phil Mitchell? I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Well, do you know my brother, Derek Branning? Do you know what? You're not the only one having a bad day. Do you want his table back? We're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah. Right. Now you pick that up, please. We are going now, and we're going today. Together. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hit me. you two playing out? Just showing me your dad's old bike. It's not the only bike around here, is it? Excuse me. <laughs> but I wouldn't melt. Hey, how dare you come to my door and sort of me like that? You want to lay off that vodka because it's clearly damaging your health. Surely! <laughs> yeah, I hope you ain't serious. I mean, scrap it, maybe, but sell it. Hey, let's see your lip. This is a collector's item. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's another way of saying past it, isn't it? Right, go and get those helmets. I'll make a picnic lunch. Champagne? Who's been buying you champagne? Mm. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I might have to stroll over there and knock his lights out. <laughs> As if. Pat and Alfie, if you must know. Oh, mm -hmm. that's all right then. They're setting up a new business. What new business? Burger bar. Damn, right. <laughs> That's not right. Liam. It's not right that she's sat over there celebrating and drinking champagne after what she's done. <laughs> Me? Not you, Cat. <laughs> oh, that Cat. Huh? Physical proof. <gasps> the police have got evidence, Max. Oh, Confirmation. What are you talking about? What evidence? What are you talking about? What evidence? You think that you believe yourself. You, you're that stuck in the habit. You, you wouldn't recognise the truth if it, it, it jumped up and smacked you in the face. Why do you think that Tanya won't pick up the phone? You are a bald, middle-aged, failed car salesman, not some legendary sex god. Look at you. I mean, and you couldn't bear to hear the truth, could you? So you pushed her. But I'm not Abby, and you, you can't shift the blame on yeah, me. Yeah, well, I'm not trying to shift the blame How on Abby. How much blood does there have to be that you bleached the place and the police still found traces? No, what are you talking about? You, you don't even you work like that. You killed Lucy. It's the 
only thing that makes any logical sense. That is why you are still lying. That is why you can't account for half of the night. Don't you listen to me? No, you listen to me, all right? I've written it all down. Why don't you read that? Goodbye, Max.